Welcome back to When I'm Not Podcasting. This is a very interesting story in the world of cannabis. Now, as you know, if you haven't heard me talk about this yet, and a couple of times I've brought up cannabis here on When I'm Not Podcasting, I host and I run and manage the radio network online, radio podcast portal, CannabisRadio.com, which has a lot of great programs on there. If you're looking for entertainment, we got Stoner Jesus, we got Dr. Dina's Cannabis Confidential, we have Days and Infuse, which is all culinary stuff, we have the Dope City broadcast, and so much more. And a lot of business content, too. A lot of stuff for entrepreneurs in the cannabis space. Say you want to listen to Plant Profits for like profiles and leadership, or you listen to the Green Peak for the financial and the venture capitalist side, or you listen to Blunt Business, which is a show I run and I host and produce and all the good stuff with, where I talk all about the mainstream business that is cannabis. And one of the stories that came up to mind that I got to bring up here is a vote on marijuana legalization, which is a very opportune time to do it now in september for whatever reason i don't know why this is coming up but we're going to talk about it right now and please remember as you're listening to one of my podcasting please go ahead and subscribe to this youtube channel like and share the video so that more people can go ahead and get attached to it and they can learn how much you like the show and so they can learn to like the show <clears throat> and also if you're listening to the audio version of when i'm not podcasting thank you all for finding the show wherever you find it apple Podcasts, google podcasts spotify stitcher iHeartRadio, all that good stuff i want to tell you that I will also recommend you also subscribe to the show. Please rate and review, pass the word along, and please get the word along to this program. I'd really appreciate it. We're growing it slowly, but it's getting up there. Politico reports, House is the set vote on marijuana legalization expected sometime in September. The states will still have to vote to legalize a drug. Uh, cannabis is already legal in 11 states. The Moore Act which would remove cannabis from the Controlled Substances Act and erase some cannabis criminal records, the vote will come during the September work period, according to an email by Democratic Majority Whip James Clyburn of South Carolina that was sent to members Friday. So again, the MORE Act is what we're looking at right now. The Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act of 2019. So again, this act, if you didn't know about it, it is said to... Decriminalize marijuana. Specifically, it would remove marijuana from the list of scheduled substances under the Controlled Substances Act and eliminate criminal penalties for an individual who manufactures, distributes, or possesses marijuana. And then also it would make changes. Um, we'll talk all about that. Some of the things they include is the denial of public, federal public benefits to a person based on the basis of a certain cannabis-related conduct or convictions. Denial prohibits denial of benefits or protections under immigration laws and a process to expunge convictions and conduct sentencing review hearings related to federal cannabis offenses. That's HR 3884 if you're scoring at home. Now, neither Chamber of Congress has ever voted on the removing marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act. A floor vote on the bill would be the greatest federal cannabis reform accomplishment in over 50 years. So, the question would be, is would cannabis, will, be, will it be legal overall? The answer is no, and this is why I don't like this bill. The odds of the bill passing are still very slim, given the opposition of Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who, in fact, did, did help and did help to organize to get the hemp bill of 2018 passed. During the RNC, uh, speakers criticized Democrats for purportedly prioritizing marijuana sales during the pandemic over more important services like health care and religious gatherings. Uh, Senator Jerry Nadler of New York, or, or, yeah, uh, he dismissed concerns about the Senate's potential inaction. Quote, I don't think it's a good idea to say the Senate won't take this bill, so we shouldn't pass this bill. To do so is to say the Senate rules the roost and the House doesn't matter. Now, what's interesting is the House had already passed the Safe Banking Act which would allow cannabis businesses to be able to go ahead and monetize and to be able to use banks and financial institutions to run their money as opposed to being an all cash based business. By the way, the lead sponsor in the Senate bill or the, the bill's lead sponsor in the Senate is the vice presidential candidate, Senator Kamala Harris, Democrat of California. So, Again, the, the, anybody who the Democratic Party wants to go and go with decriminalization. Uh, Senator Chuck Schumer from New York has also weighed in on the same way. But again, the criminalization, um, the idea is that it would be 
just because you have it that is decriminalized and people can still go and have it is still the ability of illicit sales to be rampant when i still feel like the deal is i would like to still see it where it can be controlled listen it should be just controlled and regulated like tobacco i do believe that should be the case not just a complete like just let every drug out i think there's a thing where a lot of drugs can be allowed out and this is not a, a very easy argument for some people to say so if you wanted to have heroin or cocaine or whatever they want you know the idea that it could be regulated why not i mean if people want to have it let it be so it's just like you know the thing is people will be on to their own device but i think the same thing here with cannabis it's the same thing as a tobacco or alcohol to kind of keep it in the same route because there's a lot of tax revenue to it because a lot of people will want to use it and in the medical sense you're going to get a lot of help because it does actually help believe it or not if there's more research allowed, then you can see more of this, more of the case. But what needs to happen more than anything else, I am going to propose, if you've listened to my program on Cannabis Radio or on Blunt Business for any given time, I have always been a proponent of the States Act. Now, the States Act is a bill that was actually put together bipartisan, and this was done by Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, also a former uh, candidate. So the idea of this is H.R. 2093, the States Act, which, of in fact, there is on record that President Donald Trump would actually sign this bill. If the bill came to his desk, he would definitely consider signing it. And Attorney General William Barr would actually, if it went along, he would support the bill if it actually came to be. So here's what this is at. And by the way, it is bipartisan support on co-sponsorship. 63 House representatives are supporting this. And again, if you look at the people that are on this bill, it's there is no question on bipartisanship here, okay? You want to go from one side or the other. You look at the Republican side, you got Republican, Representative Matt Gates. You want to talk about, let's see here, uh, Ed Perl Perlmutter, that's how you say it, from Colorado. Doug Collins, who represents uh, Georgia. And this is some of the notable uh, representatives that I know on the conservative side, on the, uh, let's say, the Republican side. On the other side, you have Barbara Lee of California, Steve Cohen from Tennessee. These are all Democrats, by the way. Ro Khanna of California. You got Ted Lieu representing California. Zoe Lofgren representing California. Ted Deutsch representing Florida. Hank Johnson representing Georgia. And Eric Swalwell representing California. There's bipartisan support right here across the board. And the idea would be here is it would amend the Controlled Substances Act to provide for a new rule regarding the application to the act of cannabis for other purposes and it would be strengthening the 10th amendment through entrusting states act that's the idea of the states act these states would then determine what would happen with this bill that's the idea it would recognize the legalization of cannabis and the u.s state laws that have legalized it through their legislatures or citizen initiative but in this case is you would have the opportunity for interstate commerce you would have the opportunity for the banks and for the financial institutions to not need the Safe Banking Act in order to further the case of being able to go and do business. Again, those states that allow it, which again, some states are just holding back for the States Act itself. But we see every year, states like Montana are getting ready to go ahead and try to go ahead and full legalization. Uh, same thing going for Nevada, excuse me, for uh, Arizona as well, and other states. They're all looking at this possibility, and that's what's going to happen. And I would like to see that happen. The idea is the criminalization, just the idea of getting this put out there, she'll, we will not pass, and it's not the right bill. And this is not a bipartisan, this is a bipartisan issue. Because again, for whatever reason, it is a partisan issue to decriminalize. Because it's really just the idea of going for that. But again, the real support that we wish you really want, I would want to prefer, and you tell me if I'm wrong about decriminalization or the state act, but I would prefer the states 
to be able to determine about their legalization, which they're doing right now. But then Congress would recognize it. So they would then hands off without any government intervention, no federal government inter intervention, state taxes, state revenues, keep it in the states. I prefer that. And I actually like the bill. So if it can go anywhere, I'd like the States Act to happen. I think what will happen is if, depending on how it's with the general election coming up November 3rd, I think that the States Act will be brought back up. Depending on, it's not so much about who's going to be the president after the election. It'll be how the congression, the congressional makeup will be if the House or the Senate are much more at a point where there might be a much more of a bipartisan opportunity for bills like the state act to be put into play because i think once we get past where one side or the other does not filibuster and there's actually a little bit of enough space to go and have you know a majority of votes or a super majority even better then the state act can actually be brought into play and i think that would be a great idea i think that's hopefully where they're going to go anyway i'm going to leave it there talk to you next time